Hello everyone, my name is Joshua and I'll be solving Counting Valleys, a Hackerack interview prep problem. Many of you have already liked and subscribed, but there's a number of you who haven't, so please subscribe, it's easy as one, two, and three. And you can also support my channel with some of the links down below. So there's a, there's a hiker who keeps a record of his hikes uh, via the number of his steps. Um, each step is represented by either, either by an up or a down, and each step will be a level of change, a one unit of change, whether up or down, like right here. Now you can also keep track. Oh, he always starts, by the way, at sea level and starts and ends at sea level. Now he wants to keep track of the, of the landmarks he traveled in. A mountain is a sequence of consecutive steps that you start from sea level and you end with sea level when you take a step down to sea level. Now for a valley, um, it's a sequence of consecutive steps below sea level starting with a step down from sea level and ending with a step up to sea level. But what we want to keep in mind is the number of valleys. So to keep this, I'm going to emphasize this right now if you want to solve before I do, you want to remember that you start from sea level going down. But the most important thing you want to remember is when you end it, count one valley, you want to end it with a step up to sea level. Now we're given an example here. In this case, if you look through a diagram and try to diagram it yourself, it will be one valley. Actually, I'll show you right now. So here's the best way to represent it and conceptually right here, right now in my head. We start at level zero. That's represented as the sea level. Now given the path we are given, um, we want to find out how do we know if we've come across a valley. If we take a series of steps, we start at sea level and we end with a step up to sea level, that's one. This one right here is a mountain, which we don't need to count. Um, there's another example right here as well. They have their own kind of diagram. I kind of don't really, it's okay, but I prefer mine um, because it accounts with the level. Uh, this is important for me to see. Most of this is already pre-written. We just want to fill out the counting values method. We're given those two variables, the number of steps, and the path, which is um, all of the letters that's just up or down. Now, here's what I want to keep in mind. So here's some things to keep in mind. What did I highlight? To count it as a valley, um, of course, it has to go down, of course, and we always know he starts from sea level. But a valley is fully counted if you're taking a step up to sea level. Now, with that in mind, what, what are some features you want to keep in mind of? One, the step that you finally took is at zero, sea level. The step prior to that is an up step from level negative one. So now if I want to write this down through counting valleys, um, of course we want to start off with initializing our, our number of valleys as zero. Eventually we're going to turn the number of valleys. All right. And we want to keep account of what level are we on. That would be level zero. And we're, I don't really need the steps variable um, because we're going through each the whole array anyways um, for const of const of what's to say step of path think about this as well now first we want to know the previous step which is going to be equal to wherever we are in that level it could be a negative one or negative two I'm going to do something called a ternary operator for um, whether we can increment or d or decrement is that what the word was decrement um, the level based on the direction where we're going a ternary operator looks like this um, so usually we um, well for reference we usually assign a value straight to uh, the variable with values values equals zero level equals zero that's assigning it once but sometimes it could be a or b now to keep account of it this is an example um, this is a ternary operator right here denoted by this question mark this value right here is a boolean. Is it true or false? Um, whatever this is marked right here. If it's true, we return the first one, A, or the second part, B, and it's separated by this colon. In our case, what is the boolean that we're trying to solve? Is that step going up? That's one important part. Um, that determines whether it's going to be incremented or decremented. I put a question mark. Now, if it's going to be, if it's true that it's an up step, we want to add one. And if it's not true, we want to subtract by one. Now we want to count the number of valleys. How do we know if we came across a valley? Well, here's what we can use. One, the previous step. Remember what I told you the hint was? You have to be starting from negative one. And current level 
that you step up to is C level, which is zero. Before we increment values plus plus, let's run the code. Hey, awesome. that's pretty good. Submit. Submit. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope this makes sense. Um, please like and subscribe or support me via the following links below in my channel. That would really help me a lot and incentivize me to put out more content to help you guys out later in the future. Um, I love JavaScript. I think it's one of the top few languages to use for interviewing. The second is like Python. Yeah, guys, I hope this helps you for your test, your school quiz, um, you know, or if you're in the gates of heaven and Peter says, um, how many valleys have heard of the step, then uh, now you know how to solve it. <laughs> See you guys.